G'day gang, game Molly O'Dan here. How you going? I'm back in the year, so here we are. Uh, I think where we left, we we're just about to talk to the prophet, and so we shall now talk to the prophet. Let's talk to the prophet. Prophet, what have you got to say? As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city of industry where men speak of intrigues and plots beneath layers of innuendo and pleasantry. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. How long was I unconscious? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. What should I do now? I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris' bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Molog Ball. When will I see you again? I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Okay, well. Uh, sealed urn, this rusty urn, clearly originating in Cold Harbor and has been tightly sealed. Your name is burned into the side. Complete the quest. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molag Ball looms across all the world, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. Where should I go? You must find your own path. But perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore. Search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. Okay. Well, goodbye for now. Uh, we just saw a whole bunch of skill points pop up there. So we got, uh, we got the Sunfire last time. Maybe we'll just continue with this. Uh, might just go another, go the solar flare. Conjure a ball of solar energy to heave at an enemy, dealing 5, 6, 8, 9 magic damage. Well, this is a different path for me. Why not? Hey, give it a crack, give it a crack. Alright, I'll just save that point and we'll see... See which way we go with it. Tumas Shah. The withered stalk flowers again. It is good to see you, alive and well. How did I get here? We found you floating in the water. I'd seen corpses with more life in them, but Captain Colleen dove in and fished you out anyway. So she rescued me by herself? Who is she? The captain of this vessel. She's currently ashore, recruiting for our latest contract. You might want to pay your respects, seeing as she saved your life. <laughs> I'll, I'll go do that. A hive of ants is no less busy or determined than our captain. I am honored to serve upon this ship. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's go and find the captain. Oh, they just, they just leave the pork out there on the... Oh, she's got that. Oh, she's got the. Okay. Got the knife. Don't have to say a thing. I get it. I get it. Get away from me. Yeah, let's go through here. We'll talk to Captain Colleen. Proceed. Captain. Where's the, where's the capo? Capo, capo, over this way. Now look at this place. Probably look a lot nicer during the day. I'm sick of this island, Colleen. I should be in Betnik, visiting my people. Who said that? Think, Lamar. Oh. How will we get there without a crew? <laughs> Hmm. 
Lamboa. Here we go. Captain Colleen can have a... No, I won't have a seat. She's got a lot of liquor Look around her. Look at that, Lamboa. Our half-drowned friend is up and about. We weren't sure you'd make it. You saved me? Really? I just fished you out of the water. Master Kassan got you breathing again. The important thing is you're alive. But if you're feeling grateful, I could use some help. Help with what? A job. Anyone who helps is going to get rich. Right now, I need a fresh face. Someone this island's butcher in charge, Hedman Bosek, doesn't know and won't stop. Basically, you recruit the folks I need, you get a cut of the take. Interested? All right, I'll help you. Three folks I need are Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. Any or all of them would do. Okay. Naramo. Maybe it's because I've just heard so many names lately, but oh, I like that. Oh, hang on. Crafty Larissa, Jakar. Ah, gotta maybe talk to her Crafty about each Larissa, one. Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo are the ones I'm interested in. Recruiting any one of them would be great. She's an old friend, captain of the Maiden's Breath. She's also a master of disguise. We can use that. The Sea Drakes use their lighthouse tricks to run her ship aground near Saintsport. Rescue her, and she might join us. I look for Larissa. How do I find her? You won't spot her. She stays well hidden. Your best bet is to look for her monkey, Howler. They're never far <laughs> apart. Find that monkey, and you'll find Larissa. Find the monkey, find Larissa. Uh, okay. The rest of the crew... Deserted the traitors. See, oh, there's yeah. a... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look with the sea spread out, Lambor. Might be just what we need. You interested in some... All right, let's go find this one. There was three people. I thought we could talk to all about all three. Okay, that's right. We'll go find find Howler the monkey. Go for a swim. Is she can I dive? No, you can't dive. Okay. Ah, oh, but what about like treasure chests and stuff? Oh well. Not in this one, I guess. That means there's no chance of finding a... Oh, here we go. This man was killed by wild beasts. Search the body. You spot a folded piece of paper tucked under his belt. Though it is stained with dried blood, you can still make out some writing. Examine the note. A reward is hereby offered for all dwarven relics delivered in good working order. Monies paid depend on condition, rarity and usefulness of said relic. Pieces of relics are also accepted, depending on condition. Take the gear and note. Rulon. Sphere assembly. Oh, okay. Are we gonna... That might not be a good idea though, right? I remember those damn sphere things in Skyrim. I think the wolf wants to play. Oh, he's on fire. Easy pickings. Okay, so Hella should be in here somewhere. Howler, howler, howler. Oh, there's a sky shard there. Go grab the sky shard. Oh, go around. Oh, that's a monkey? That's Howler. Oh, oh there's a sky. Hang on, let me get the sky shard. Nice. Monkey man, where are you? Oh. You aren't at all what I was expecting. What? 
Talk to Let's Alrighty. Talk. Crafty Larissa. Well, she what wasn't that well hidden at all. Pit. <laughs> there was like four or five people just gathered around this box. Uh, what else? What brings you to this trash pit? How did you do that? Sneak up on you? It's what I do. Howler draws all the attention. I do all the sneaking. Hmm. Good, good, good idea. Complete quest. Now answer my question. What are you doing here? Captain Killeen needs your help. She's got a big heist planned. My ship may be a pile of driftwood, but my crew's alive and Captain Helene has them. I won't leave without them. Help me rescue my crew, and I'll help you with Colleen's heist. We'll rescue them together. I didn't expect to get help so quickly. Remind me to thank Colleen when we're done here. So what's the plan? We're going to disguise my crew as sea drakes. Take these clothes. Look for a portly Breton, a sour red guard, and a big orc. The drakes are keeping them in the large buildings. Once they're out, meet me by Helene's ship. Okay, what if I need a disguise? Look for hampers with clothes, or kill a sea drake and take theirs. Put on their clothes and you'll look just lovely. Oh, do watch out for the sea drakes with torches. They're not drunk. If you get too close, they'll spot you and alert the others. Okay, I understand. Let's get started. Remember, you can take clothes from hampers or off-dead sea drakes. There we go. Got some sea drake disguise. Oh, mate. They would not know. So. We need to watch out for dudes with torches. Uh, we need to rescue, release these people. Okay. Dudes with torches. Here with a torch. Easy. Too easy. If you're going to kill me, get it over with. Larissa sent me. Take this disguise and sneak out. Ha. Another of Helene's tricks. Let me go, then chase me down and beat me within an inch of my life. I'll chance it and make a run for Port Hunding. See how far I get. Let me untie you. Word of advice. Don't let them capture you. If you can't get away, die fighting. Ah, uh, don't- wait. Oh, okay. You're just gonna rate- oh, alright. I thought I was gonna give you a, uh, disguise, so you could just- okay, doesn't matter. I don't know what that would do exactly, though. See, so they're, the, they're the ones that capture you and put you there. Perhaps the that's the point. <laughs> what was that person say about Nords? Talking about their large ego. Unbelievable. Oh, people are dead here. People fighting their distract. Let's get this guy. Choke and die, Sea Drake. I'll spit on your grave. Larissa sent me. I've got a disguise you can use to escape. I knew she wouldn't leave me to rot. Quick, untie me. The sea drake spent the past few hours breaking my fingers. I can't wield a sword, but I can still strangle a few on my way out. Let me untie you. These sea drakes give pirates a bad name. Kill every last one of them you see. Yep, there we go. Did change. Good. Very quick change. But it was a change. Now I got one more dude. I've been spotted, what? Oh crap. That's right. He has no idea where I went, so we're all good. Sneak around the side. Sneaky, 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 good. Uh, please, don't beat me again. Larissa sent me. Take this disguise and get out of here. Thank the eight. I thought I'd die in here. Helene came by not long ago. Told me to look forward to a public flaying. Then she beat me bloody, laughing the whole time. She's one cold witch. Oh, she is. Let me get you out of these ropes. 
Stay away from Helene. She's a monster. Oh my goodness. She is a monster. All right. Get out. See you later, guys, as you were. Torchman. Torchman. Where would you go? Looking for people with torches. Need Larissa over here. The other people don't give a damn. They've just gone all out. I've been doing it. I'm doing it Metal Gear Solid. Snake style. Snake style. I can't find the objective. Oh, here we go. You're a welcome sight. I've rescued everyone but Crenard, Hairden, and Meacock. Any luck? Found all three. They're safely away. Almost done then. Everyone's out except my first mate, Dara Gore. They've got him in the belly of Helene's ship. You'll find the keys below deck. Look for Dara Gore down and back. How did you make yourself look like a fern? What? Good trick, that. Did I really disguise myself as a fern? Or did you see a fern because you weren't looking close enough? Stop messing with my brain! What are you going to do while I rescue Deragor? I'll be visiting Helene in her cabin to thank her for the hospitality she's extended my crew. Come on up after you release Deragor. You should really say hello. Alright, let's go. Uh, or how did you get the key? To oh, don't worry about it. It's cool. It's all good. I know what to do. Oh, we gotta get... Oh, look, they're still talking about the bloody Nords. Honestly. Cold shower, folks. Okay, so, get the keys to the storeroom. Don't have to, have to worry about anyone here. Got it. Nobody's sus. Everyone's a little bit drunk or party. They had some party drugs or something. I don't know what's going on. Let's go in. You're free! I'm not telling you anything, scum! What have you done with Captain Larissa? Actually, Larissa sent me to rescue you, you son of a... Yeah? Ha! <laughs> I knew she got away! Helene said she was being keel-hauled and beaten, but I knew better. They don't call my Captain Crafty for nothing. Get me out of these ropes, and let's get out of here. Hold still. Captain Larissa never leaves anyone behind. Make sure she's safe. Done. Done deal. Uh, anything... Any interesting loots about? And Skyrim, you know, you... In Fallout, in those type of games, you search boxes. Search every box. Um, but everything's empty around here, so maybe we don't have to worry about it. We just have to worry about opening the door. Press E. Uh... Okay... Go back up. No one with torches. No, good. Everyone's drunk and stumbling about. Hello. Hello. Wait. What have you? Did you poison me? Oh my, Captain. Are you feeling okay? I'll gut you like a stuck pig. Cut your eyes out. Roast you. Like you did my crew. No, that won't happen again. Oh, she fell down. <laughs> My, that felt good. What did you do to her? Me? Did I do that? Her starving little cabin girl may have poisoned her drink. Who can say? Did Dara Gore get out? Yeah, he's free. I'll just be going then. I told my crew to gather on the beach. I'm going to make sure they all made it out. Meet me there and we'll square up. What kind of poison... Well, what kind of poison did you use on Helene? Oh, it's yarn root. A very nasty local poison. It won't kill her. Not right away. It starts by dissolving the stomach lining, then goes from there. You're just gonna leave Helene to die? I'd love to stay and watch, but no time. You can stay if you like. 
It's actually her poison, kept for slaves who disobey. There's an antidote on the dresser if your heart bleeds enough. Hmm. What would you do if I gave Helene the antidote? I'd feel mildly disappointed, but I leave it up to you. Meet me on the beach once you're done here and we'll settle up. Just watch your boots. She'll start vomiting soon. Captain Helene doesn't seem to notice you. I should kill her myself. Well, it's pretty bad, like, giving that poison to slaves to her slaves. So I don't know if she's worth redeem, well, rescuing, I guess, or we'll give you the antidote. But leaving her to die like that, I mean, it gives her a taste of her own medicine, I suppose. I should kill her myself. Maybe I'll just kill her myself. Just get her over and done with so I don't have to watch this. I don't even know her. I don't even know what she did. Did she even give the poison to anybody? There's too many questions. Ow. Ow. Ow, just do it. There we go. It's done. It's done. Let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's check that loot. Lockpick? Nothing but a lockpick in the entire water, okay. Ooh, bow. Let's take the bow. Have a look at this sword here. So we got the Iron Great Sword. He's two-handed and he's better one than what I have. Got a maple bow. Iron dagger. Let's, let's get that on there. Replace that. Alright, we're out here. You tell me, what would you have done? Would you have given her the antidote? Just left her? Or done what I did? And if you did... Did anything change? Was there anything different? Okay, so we're gonna meet her on the beach, so she's over there. Sure, just grab it. Larissa. I wonder if she's going to be ticked off. Oh no, she shouldn't be ticked off. I did. Oh, she might be ticked off that I killed her quickly. My crew's safe and only a little bit tortured. I call that a win. Captain Helene is dead. Oh, many a captain who sails these waters will be glad of that news. Now, let's talk favors. Oh. I owe you a big one. Oh. Help Captain Colleen and I. Help Captain Colleen and I pull off her heist. She's a bit too obsessed with old Faharajad for me, but I like her style. Seeing as I need a new ship, gold will come in handy. I'm in. Can't let what you did for us go unrewarded. See you back in town. 